But uh, folks, this is the uh, Opki interface that you see over here. Now, Opki uh, is a kind of 100% web interface. It comes in two editions. We have our own hosted uh, Opki on AWS. Or if you want something on-premise, the same thing can actually uh, exist within your own premise as well. Now, um, Opki was designed to be a test automation platform rather than just a tool, which means that um, it contains all your centralized testing data and top of it. So, for example, what you see here is an app on top of Opki platform. Uh, and this interface, we call it classical Opki, is essentially for uh, the automation users who want to come and who want to do some editing in these components. Uh, for the folks who are more business oriented, we have another interface that's kind of uh, another application on top of it, which we call the business process driven interface. Now, this interface is for uh, the part of your team who have uh, the components, the, the BAU team, and who want to run their test typically, you know, who want to uh, combine different components together and make their own business processes. So they can come over here in business process. Uh, it comes with a lot of uh, predefined business processes for Oracle EBS. So they can either pick up any of these business process or uh, they can make their own business process by dragging and dropping um, component. Right? And everything is given in form of a nice flowchart view to give you an idea of what's happening over here. Uh, you can define your own data sets over here, you know, if you can. So let me just quickly show you what kind of uh, data sets you can define. So once you come to a test case, you can uh, pick up a business process. For example, I'm talking about uh, business process here, which is more pick to stock process. And uh, once you have the process defined, you can give your own set of data. So you can either give the static data for this business process, you know, which would run with one set of data to test, or you have something called a kind of uh, local data repository over here. Here you can give a set of data which iterates through this entire business process and you want to create 10 different uh, orders for that matter, right? So give your data over here and it will iterate through it. You can export this to an uh, external Excel sheet uh, and then import it back if the users, or you can either import your data directly from uh, your database, scrub it and do stuff around it. So there are a lot of uh, functionalities like this, um, you know, around this uh, entire tool, which makes it really easy for business users. Um, you know, we have our own inbuilt recorder for most of the technologies. So let me go to the Opti classical interface. And folks, don't worry, we are going to discuss, uh, you know, a lot of functionalities in the next webinar. The idea was just to give you a high level glimpse of the platform here, uh, you know, without uh, paying too much into it. So, uh, you know, as you can see here, if your organization has already implemented DevOps and BDD, uh, you know, we support Gherkin out of the box, where users can come and they can write their uh, tests in a plain English-like language, right? So uh, we are one of the only web-based platform that supports Gherkin out. So that's one. Uh, usability, which means you can create your own function library. And once you've created your function library, you can uh, conference on it. Now, if you look at it, everything in Opki is a keyword. And we uh, come bundled with more than 800 pre-built keywords, which you can drag and drop over here, or just add, and uh, you know, uh, create your own test. And from what we have seen, close to 90% of your functionality, in fact, more than 95% of your test cases can be built without creating any third-party uh, keyword or components, which, by the way, we have flexibility to do. So everything becomes in form of keywords. If you want to record your scripts, uh, you know we have these four recorders out of the box, uh, web, mobile, desktop, and Oracle. And between uh, web, we have further subdivision as Salesforce, as Workday, as ServiceNow, because they're specialized web applications. So you know I would say it's a pretty exhaustive platform, uh, has its own advantages, and we are working almost on a daily basis to make it more usable for uh, business users and for developers alike to you know, work on their test automation. If there are any specific features you would like to see, feel free to put that in the question box. If you have time now, I can take you through it. Or the next webinar, we are going to have much more detailed discussion. Over to you, Vinay. 
Pankaj, can you just uh, showcase about you know where you know the the solution or the you know tools are working and you know some of those uh, cool things? Sure. So, uh, you mean the client lists and all that stuff? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, perfect. I generally hate uh, in your face marketing when I, but since you asked, I'll uh, take you through this slide. Uh, you know, uh, some of the, I mean, we are working with some of the biggest uh, names out there. In fact, 10 of the Fortune 100 customers are already our uh, uh, esteemed clients. We are working with Pfizer's, the Lilies, the Lendleys of the world. Uh, you know, and they are across geography. We have customers in US, we have customers in Australia, and uh, we have regularly find mentioned uh, with uh, Gartner. So Gartner has included us in multiple reports. And the last report we got included in was the mobile testing outlook report, where Opki, along with another product of ours, Peak Audi, were both uh, featured and mentioned. So, uh, you know, a lot of big enterprises are using it. They are helping us evolve. They are telling us their needs, and uh, we are building these needs on a kind of uh, uh, on our monthly release cycle. We release every month and make sure that the needs of the customers are met. Thank you, Pankaj. Uh, so, I think we have pretty much done our the presentation and the demo part of it. And uh, we have got quite a few questions, but uh, looking at the time, I will take try to take at least a uh, couple of them, if not more. So I'm putting out the first question we have got is, uh, it is, in your opinion, how to make a good business case for test automation in our organization? So, you know, Pankaj, you know, Pankaj Girl, if you want to take that. Oh, business case for test automation, uh... I mean, there are many factors to consider, but I would say uh, uh, advice from my side. You know, when you are building a business case for your management guys, don't just look at the testing time automation is going to save or the testing hours. It's important to uh, visualize this ROI more in terms of the business agility it can give. So start asking question about, hey, if I am able to push the release faster because of automation, what's the business advantage is going to give to the business? And more often than not, you will find that, uh, you know, the kind of uh, returns that you get are going to be huge, right? Because let's say if instead of four or five releases in a year, you can push out eight, which means your business can bring the features faster to the market, which means you gain a significant competitive advantage. So uh, many factors to consider. Connect with me online, offline, and we can help you give a template. Uh, look beyond just saving the testing time or cutting down on the manual testing time. Look what business can gain out of this test automation. I think we can squeeze in one more question, Pankaj, uh, if you can take it. Uh, how much time does it take to break you?